welcome back to my channel. It is the Spooky Colorist here. Um, just in advance, I apologize for the lighting because my laptop's dead. And uh, the charger is currently charging something else right now. So I'm just waiting for that to be done and then I can charge my laptop. So we're going to do it without the ring light today. So I hope you guys don't mind. And if you hear my daughter kind of like making her noises in the background, that's because she's mad I gave her her medicine. <laughs> so um, yeah, she's helping grandma cook right now so I can just show you guys my finished pages um I don't know how filming is gonna go this like I know it didn't go well in November I didn't I don't think I put any videos up unless I put like a few I'm not sure I don't even think I'd put any up I'm not too sure but you guys these two months have been so rough and I know December's gonna be even harder um personal things in my life and it, it's not like it's just something small this is huge um you know, it's it's just not easy, and I can't talk about it, but yeah, it's just hard. Um, so in January, hopefully everything's back to normal. Um, it won't be fully done, but hopefully, hopefully some sort, something happens that my life can just slow down. Because right now it's just like this, and my brain's like, Psh. so. <laughs> <sighs> So I am struggling right now. So anyways, um, this is Creepy and Cute. Um, I tested Color Me Stress Freeze um, alcohol marker trick with water ground. I don't think I did the correct layer. Um, sorry for the shadowing, you guys. I didn't think I, I don't think I layered the ground properly because it bled through, which it's not supposed to do. And it got all weird here. Right here, like if you guys can see all the, oh god, this lighting's horrible. I'm so sorry. Like all here it looks beautiful, and then it just gets a little weirder. Um, I didn't finish this yet because I think it looks like gross, but I tried. <laughs> I tried. Um, I will finish her eventually, and then because it bled through, I used the titanium white ground, so you can see it was here. But this, I can feel. It's nice and. Like, I can feel it's on there, so I don't think it's going to bleed through, so. And this side barely has anything, so I think that's what happened, so. Yeah, anyway, so I did that one. <sighs> Next, in Fairy Winter and Christmas's Fairy House. I didn't even know this came out, so I just picked it up as soon as I saw it. And I did this one page. In this, um, I still have to post it, but this was for Kathy's prompt. Uh, anything that you're thankful for it says I'm happiest when it's when I'm with you I put that there this was for my grandma me and my grandma were really really close I like she was like my best friend so um and I remember in grade seven when she had cancer and I would I literally spent my whole summer in the hospital with her until she passed away so and she loved purple and pinks and she loved snow globes so this like totally reminded me of her and the prompt I'm thankful I had her in my life um so yeah so I have to post this for um Kathy's thing on Instagram her prompt for thankful so yeah I do love it it's nice and sparkly my grandma loved sparkles she was like a really girly girl so anyways I'm really happy with that so I got that done Next, in Matchstick Mouse, a Christmas coloring book. I did, sorry, I just don't want to lose my little tabs. I did this one. And I did this one as my prompt for New Year's. I just pretended it was like a New Year theme page of them skating. And I added this really cool, um, shoot, what is it called? I think it's called Dragonfly or full art or something and it was like full spectrum and it like gives like a twinkly I'm telling you you guys it looks like rainbow it's beautiful um when I actually get the light on and use this stuff it's like oof, it's so good looking so it's really nice so I think yeah that's the only one I did in this book I didn't go crazy with sparkles or anything on her just very quick very quick page so Yes, there's that. Um, I have a lot of whips this month, so this is currently a whip right now. 
and I used my polychromos for this one. So that's my current whip right now. Really into my pencils right now. I don't know what's going on. But I was using the my Prismas for the... I'll show you guys which book. Um, here, I'll just show you guys that book right now. For this one, and I'm not joking. I don't know where those pencils went that I took out to use for this. Because all my blues are in there. But let me tell you, I'm missing all of my purples in the Prisma sets. I'm missing a lot of colors. And I didn't get that set too long ago. Um couple months so the fact that they're like missing it like frustrated my OCD and stressed me out and I'm not about to go spend $160 on a new pencil set so um and I didn't even want to order them individually like that's just too much for me to handle right now and if I'm being honest so I got the Artex 126 set because that was cheap um and I also got the Arteza Here, I'll show you guys the Arteza because I just kept it in the tin because this is the only tin, like I got rid of all my tins from all my other pencils because I usually have them in case. But this is the only tin I'm keeping. And can you guys tell why? Because there's a snail on it. But um, I was coloring with these last night and they're actually really nice. They're really nice. So, and this was on Cyber Monday sale. So it was like, I think 29 bucks. 29 to 30 bucks and it's regularly like 60 so I scored with that let me tell you guys that next in Matchstick Mouse a floral coloring book it's the only page I did in here um, and I did this one because she's all snuggled up and I did this prompt for Danny Button's fall prompt again all pencils except for some glitter gel pens and I actually really do like how this one came out. This was with all Black Widows. Um, black Widows are not easy to use, but I was fairly pleased with it. Um, so, yes. So, it did pretty good. I think she turned out really cute. So, I've been practicing shading and all that stuff. Okay, you guys ready for this book? So, I have both of these books. Um, I actually had this when I was... Um, when I was pregnant with my daughter and I just never really got into them or was it right after I had my daughter some sort um, this is <laughs> this I counted them as pages but that's just me but I was having a horrible like start of the month so I just did these like easy prompts so it says took me 20 minutes to get full blackout oh I think they're, they count because it is coloring in some things. So make the apples whole again. So that's what I did. I just used my Crayola Super Tips in here. Nothing too fancy. And then this page, this one was actually really fun. Um, so it says pick one or the other. So it was either color it blue or pink for which one you like. So this one says hot or cold. And of course I I hate the heat, so anything that makes me hot, get rid of it. Give me the cold. This one says pop or water. I love Diet Coke, so obviously pop. I do love water too, though. Fries or tots? Of course, french fries. I'm the french fry queen over here. I love french fries. Um, it says call for blue or text pink. I don't like talking to people on the phone, so texting is easier for me. Um, TikTok blue or Instagram pink. I like Instagram more than TikTok. Um, birds or dolphins. I love dolphins. So, of course, it's pink. Chocolate or vanilla. And I'm saying, I'm pretending this is like vanilla ice cream. So, I did vanilla. And this is ice cream cone or snow cone. Um, I like ice cream. Sorry, I should have done that as snow cone because I, like I like snow cones better. Dogs or cats? Obviously, I'm a cat person, but we still do have dogs in this house. Yes or no? I'm going to say no. Um, summer or winter? Of course, winter. Give me winter all the time. Um, sweet or sour? And I love sweet things. I, I seriously start, like, freaking out if something's super sour. Don't mind the dogs. I think my brother just came home from getting his oil changed. So there's just, like, a lot of prompts on here to just keep your mind off of whatever you're stressing from so that really did help those few little prompts 
Now, these are not all done. These are marked off for the bank Christmas bingo for Danny Buttons, but I did do some in here. Um, I started that one. I think I went from the back of the bookmarks, or did I not even? Oh yeah, I did do a few in here, okay. So this one says Merry Christmas on it. These are my tile trees, which if you don't use your tile trees for a long time, you forget how much they bleed over. So my tiles always look messy. <laughs> um, I did this angel and I think from here on out, I'm gonna use the middle, like I'm gonna base everything in markers and then the middle picture is gonna be all in glitter gel pen. So there's my little angel. Oh, I haven't done him yet. Yeah, and I think that's all I've gotten done in this book. Yes, okay, so there we go. Next, in large print Christmas, I did one page. I did this cute little bunny page. This is really easy. Um, it was a lot of fun. Just got some stuff off my mind. Also, I was trying to find, I also did that one. Um, I was also trying to find my empty little pouchy. I had a lot of markers this month and I don't even know where it is. Like when I say my brain is, sorry, I'm not saying you guys, when I say my brain is scattered brain, this month, eh, it's like gone. <laughs> my brain is just gone. Um, so that kind of sucks. Summer Girls by Sunlight. I just want to say I'm really upset they didn't do like an Autumn Girls, a Winter Girls, and a Spring Girls. Um, I was really hoping for that and I haven't seen any of that out yet. So I'm kind of sad about it. They should get on it though because like I would totally buy those. Um, I'm working on this whip right now. I only have to do like the outside and inside here. But yes, so I did that girl. Um, this is the book, um, about Scrooge that I'm doing for my son. I'm going to give it to my son when he's older. Um, so I molded all these clouds onto here. It's very spiky. Very textured. And then I worked on some of the house. So this isn't fully done, but it's almost done. So, but it's not easy to close as you guys can see. <laughs> Do you see that? It's gonna be one puffy book, so yeah. Anyways, there we go. So I did that one. And A Whimsy Girl's Christmas by Hannah Lynn. I have a few marked off here. Um, I did. And I noticed this one, it doesn't have like the super detailed one. And then the smaller, like the less detailed one it is just the same picture on the next page. Because she usually does that. Um, but it's not like that in this book. It's literally the same picture. Um, I haven't done the borders on any of my handlines yet, so I have to do that eventually, but I can do that later this month since I'm going to be working in this book later this month too. So I did this one for Nutcracker. I wanted to do like this little girl reminded of my daughter, so I wanted to make her kind of look like Chloe. So yeah. And then this one I'm super proud of. Now her skin came out, like her blush came out a little bit darker than I wanted, but it looks like she kind of got frostbite, which is okay with me. It's clearly, it's chilly. It is chilly. Now this took me three days. So I based it all in marker and I went over with pencil. Um, oh my God, I seriously love this page. Like I worked so hard on this one. So when it, it was pretty much all black, widow and then my tritone pencil set by color i think maybe not color i don't know but this prompt was for teddy bear um yeah i love how her hair turned out again this was with black widows just everything looks great in this picture all the stickles and the glitter yeah, I, I adore this picture, so I'm so happy with this one. I'm so happy it's done. Um, and if you want a sneak peek, I'm currently working on this girl. I did some of her hair last night. Her wings, um, this is, I was trying to blend out with the Artex pencils. They're very, like, they're the closest thing to Prisma's without the Prisma price. 
but they're pretty waxy so like it builds up really quick like you can't get more than three layers so far that I found and I have a heavier hand um, as you guys can see blended very weird here I absolutely hate how the wings turned out um, so but I'm trying to ignore it but her hair is looking pretty good for Elsa so far so and the trees I worked on some last night yeah so there we go the third girl I'm working on and I know I know I know was it last month I finished a book and then I finished I have it on my phone as a finished book I just haven't posted it yet um my fantasy girls but I will upload that I did finish that this month just so you guys know um now this one you guys are probably thinking when I show you the picture oh I thought you already did that one yes I did so I'm gonna show you guys my first one so I did this girl and I fell in love with it and this is actually what I'm this picture I'm using in that serious matter that I have next month coming up um as well with my speech so I have to do a speech and then I'm using this picture on top of that so um which I'm very happy they allow artwork and not a many people I was told show artwork so it's really really cool that I could do that and I have that creativity to do that and I have the creativity to um like all of Polarist are creative obviously right because we're we're artists so yeah anyway so I did it a little differently this time um I did do black um sparkles because I didn't I didn't want these to look like oh she's still okay like I wanted this picture to feel what I feel because this is supposed to represent me um this was the old me and this is the new me again I can't get into much too too into too much detail blah, blah, blah. can't talk slow it down Alexandra can't get into too much detail but yeah and this looks more like me um so that's what I wanted to show off um and my family cried when they saw it so I think it looks good so I'm hoping everyone likes it again it's for me because it's like for something serious so anyways yes yeah, so I I know again I'm missing that fantasy girl one I think I'm missing like a sticker book and that's pretty much it I didn't do a whole lot I think less than 20 pages again um, oh, I don't, I don't think I showed you guys the, no, I didn't even show you guys the fantasy one. Duh, I was talking about the stupid Prismas. <laughs> now, Prisma pencils are my freaking favorite. They're so buttery, but the price tag is just disgusting on them. So I can't, I'm just, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't buy another set. So I'm just going to use all the ones I have until they're all done. And then I can hopefully get into it. So. I absolutely adore this book you guys like I freaking love it so again all this purple was my prismas and do you think I can find them nope absolutely not all the green I'm missing I am missing all my pencils from this page so I don't know what this is but I call it the thing and I post it on my Instagram this took about two days two to three days because the backgrounds are acrylic some is acrylic this is mostly pencil, so looks super cool. I do love it very, very much. Um, and I did do another page in here. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. Yes. So I did this page and some more marked off. But I did this beautiful Phoenix. So it's funny, I have all the blues from this page in my pencil case, but all my purples are missing. So I think it was really late at night, and I'm thinking my brain just shoved them somewhere, and now I can't find them. So um, if I find them, I'll be very happy. If I don't, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Let's just hope we find them eventually. But anyways, here we go. Beautiful blue phoenix, and I think that's all I did in this book so far. Yes, but anyways, that is all my stuff. I'm sorry I don't have my um, 
all my supplies that are run out. I have a lot of Ohuhu markers just die on me. So um, when I do find that case, I will totally show you guys because um, I'll just show you how much I had in November um, when I do find it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm super sorry that I haven't gotten any videos up. I know I filmed a few things. I just haven't had time to upload them. You know, I had parent-teacher night. I had so much, honestly, so much crap I had to deal with in November. And it is just continuing on in December. Um, so, yes. So, I'm hoping the new year, my birthday's January 1st, if you guys didn't know. So, um... I will be uh, hopefully back to it in January, like fully uploading normally. Hopefully all this crap is put behind me and um, I won't ever have to stress about it anymore. This has been a, like a four year process and I'm gonna start crying because it isn't easy on me and it's been really hard. Um, yes, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I'm gonna start crying. We're not going to cry today. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys um, enjoyed my little finished pages and my whips. And I will see you guys in my next one. And I hope you have a spooktastic day or night wherever you are from in this crazy world that we call home. And I hope you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys.